Hey there, how are you doing? We welcome you all to the hands-on demo of Android N Developer Preview 4. Google has today pushed the Android N Developer Preview 4 to those who have enrolled to Android Beta program OTA. And in case you did not get the update OTA or over the air, you should uh, download the files and you can then flash on your device. Now coming to, uh, okay, so in this video, we will first cover the unreported changes or small tiny changes which uh, this Android Developer Preview 4 brings because if you go to the official change log there are not many changes or there are nearly no changes that uh, Google has mentioned in terms of like user experience or uh, the changes in the OS if you go to the official change log it only talks about the API which are finalized and about the apps so here in this uh, video first we will talk about the changes which we could notice and we will demo them and then we'll talk about our experience or impressions with the build whether the build can be used as a daily driver so coming to the unreported changes first so if you go to the notification center the first thing you will notice or you will feel when you tap on this wi-fi icon it now uh, does not allow you to toggle the wi-fi on or off as was the case earlier so for toggling the Wi-Fi on or off, you have to go to the, the page which opens. So this is uh, not a very desirable change. So tapping it should, I mean, it used to allow you to toggle on or off. And then, uh, I mean, long pressing used to take you to the settings. But now what is happening that as soon as you tap here to toggle off, it will take you to the settings here. So maybe, I mean, uh, if Google will take users feedback, then it's perhaps not that desirable or likable change. So it should be, I mean, reverted. Now, same thing happens for other toggles as well for like mobile data or you talk, I mean, it does not allow you to toggle on or off, which is not a very desirable thing. It should have been better. So now coming to the one more thing that or one more change that you can notice is that the calculator tile has gone missing. You cannot anymore, you know, add the calculator tile so that is the second change now one good thing is that you can notice the night mode here many people were asking us about the uh, night mode so night mode still exists and it it remains in this uh, action center so what all you need to do is to drag to add the night mode to the action or notification center once you have done that you can use a night mode so like we are able to use the night mode now so here we were able to show you two changes. So the behavior had changed for some icons like Wi-Fi where it, you cannot toggle on or off by just tapping on them, it opens a settings page. So Google can revert that. And secondly, that calculator tile that is that has gone missing. Now coming to one more visible change. Earlier, uh, if you have used this blue keyboard, nice looking blue keyboard, then there was this uh, entry key was red, which used to uh, give a nice look to this keyboard, but that has been made blue and it does not really suit the whole, uh, you know, idea or whole look of the things. So this is uh, again, I mean, you can say that it's not a very desirable change. And Google may think of uh, reverting the changes back okay one good uh, thing that we could notice in the change log is that the battery saver or the dose mode seems to work again it i mean because uh, it is too early to say but here it seems that it has started working fine because uh, the change log official change log mentions that there are some uh, fixes which has been done in the battery saver thing So hopefully, because many people were complaining about uh, uh, less than desirable experience uh, with batteries, the batteries draining really fast, etc. And obviously overnight also it was happening. Uh, I mean, if you just sleep with battery fully charged, you could have ended up with very low battery when you woke up. So that seems or that should have been resolved. Hopefully. So because uh, since we have just updated our device, so we are not able to correctly tell you, but till now it seems that the battery discharge rate is good. It's not uh, kind of alarming or something. 
so these are the changes which were like either uh, mentioned in the official change log or which we could notice we will quickly take you to the build number for the android n so this build number is here npd 56n now coming to how the build we have so uh, during our like brief hands on with the build because obviously as we said we have just updated like some two hours ago we have updated our device so it has been quite good it is smooth there are no crashes you can go and check many apps and we did not uh, encounter any crashes or that kind of issues we will check few things let's check bit of uh, browsing here So the browser works quite good very smoothly and fast and things like panning zooming etc are like quite good let's send it to the background this is the split screen mode And you can see that I mean the split screen mode is also working fine. We can quickly ch uh, check by running a game or something like that so that we can quickly see how the uh, like multitasking or how the app or game resume works so till now we could see that it was working quite i mean quite fine there is no issues with the browsing you can also see that apps and games are opening fast actually but we can just quickly check this game and So as you can see that uh, even the game resume is quite fast the developer preview 4 we can quickly check uh, by running a video here maybe
crazy up here. I can't take it anymore. Tell me how much you miss me. Mm, you know how much I miss you. It happened on its own. Too. two days ago. Twenty years ago, when we destroyed the mothership, we detected a... So it's really fun to do things, doing the multitasking, while watching a video, you can do anything like that. So as you can see things really work fine if you talk about even the like we did bit of gaming bit of video watching multitasking we did the split screen multitasking and you could see how well it all works we did not encounter any crashes or issues uh, i mean even the third party apps are working opening fine they are behaving fine actually even if we talk about like i mean we have checked all the third party apps i mean even the native apps and they all are working fine so in that way it looks like a good build uh to be used as a daily driver so in case you have a device which is supported in Android beta program you can go ahead and enroll yourself and take uh, benefit or take advantage of it so with this we come to end of this video where we have demoed the unreported changes of the Android in developer preview 4 and we also mentioned some official I mean fixes which Google has done we also shared our impressions of the build which are really positive so with that we come to end of this video Stay tuned, keep watching. Thanks.